YouTube, YouTube is Elemi Rico TV, man. I'm back with another video. Y'all see what we got going on. NBA players react to LA Lakers beating the Golden State Warriors in game six, plus LeBron James reaction. So you already know what time it is. If you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos in the but not yet subscribe, please hit that subscribe button now. Also, don't forget to make sure you guys smash that like button. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos. That said, though, man, y'all know what time it is. I'm going to start the screen record. Now, I'm going to mute the audio because when I clicked on the video, I did hear that it was playing some background music. So, we ain't going to play that in the video. But with that said, man, we're going to go ahead and get this video started. Starting with Kuzma. Y'all see what he said at King James. Heem. You already know what that means. So, hey, man, Brian definitely had one of those crazy games last night. 30 and 9 and 9 on 70% field goal percentage and 2 or 3 from the 3. And I think he, what, 8 of 11 or something like that from the free throw. Had a solid closeout game, man, and that was tough. Simple. Let's continue. I don't even got to wear the headphones for this because, like I said, the audio is just music. Trey Young, hold on, I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't even pay attention to what he said. The Austin Reeves takeover, love it. I think this got to be, like, pretty much after, like, when halftime came, possibly. But other than that, Austin Reeves also had a crazy game last night, too, as well. Shout out to him for sure. Kendrick Perkins, I seen. I haven't seen Brown trust another guard like Reeves to run the offense since Rondo. I feel like he been giving D'Lo a chance too, because D'Lo also has been having the ball in his hands quite a, a few times out of the games where he's having it more than Brown. Um, pretty much being utilized a little bit more. But other than that, man, y'all seeing how the series win and stuff like that. I feel like Brian trusts pretty much majority of the guards on his team. Schroeder as well, man. But other than that, let's continue. Shout out to CJ Watson. Um, Y'all comment down below. Do y'all feel like the Warriors dynasty is over? I feel like they're going to keep their core group together. But I feel like if they were to break that up, the only person I see them breaking up out of that core possibly is Draymond. And um, as far as Poole, I feel like no matter what decision they make, I feel like he's possibly going to be the one to be moved for sure um, at the end of this season. I feel like he's definitely that one that's going to be going. They paid him all that money. He obviously didn't do what they thought he would be able to do for them this postseason. So we're going to see the, unless they try to run it back and improve on a defense and stuff like that. They got a lot of stuff they can definitely improve on for sure in this offseason, though. But with that said, y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that. All right, guys, we back for whatever reason. Some parts of the video is real laggy. So I'm going to try my best to read these out to you guys. Y'all can kind of see what's going on right now. But I see when I fast forward certain parts, like past certain parts of the video, the video starts right back up like normal. But pretty much right here from what I'm seeing is this person's name is Justin Anderson. I know some folks can acknowledge greatness, but how you want how you watch this and not believe this the best the game has seen at 38 years old playing at an elite level. Obviously, y'all know who he's talking about, Brian. Y'all know what it is, man. I, we ain't going to get too deep into that, but y'all know how great Brian is and what he brings to the table. It's on you to decide where you rank him as your all-time favorite or ranking player, etc., etc. So it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, it's your opinion. But now we're going to go past that one to Isaiah Thomas. He says, looks like this game is leaning towards the Lakers. If they win this game, are they winning the chip? I felt like, I feel like right now, yes, they winning the chip, man. Um, pretty much the teams that they said can beat the, that can beat them didn't beat them so far. And right now, they it's people saying Denver in six, Denver in seven and stuff, but Honestly, if you really paying attention, man, you just know that Lakers is going to come out of this Western Conference. Um, it's just the inevitable, I feel like. And um, based on how they're playing right now, they they pretty much got a complete, complete team. 
yes, they got some things that still need to be worked on. But at the end of the day, the things that they really don't got to focus and work on is being done and they're winning. So that is what I got to say about that. Um, y'all comment down below. Do y'all feel like they're going to win a chip this year or do y'all feel like they're going to lose to Denver or possibly lose in the finals against whoever come out of the East? But other than that, let's continue on. So now we're going to go to the next week with George Carl. And this is basically where the video picks back up. So now y'all can see, and I ain't got to read it out loud. And that's facts, man. They showed a graphic yesterday, man. And when Brown is at home, specifically at home and closeout games, he is 16 and three. That's tough. And I forgot it was another thing too, where pretty much he rarely loses closeout games. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you really can't bet on him in a closeout game. When he when his team is leading the series at three games to whatever, nine times out of ten, him and his team close the series out when they got three games already won. But other than that, let's continue on. I ain't gonna lie, Andrew Wiggins, I felt like if he really was going through that type of injury that they said he had, I felt like they possibly shouldn't have had risk him playing, but at the end of the day, look at the bodies they got left on the team. I feel like if they would have lost him, they definitely would have had lost a lot of um, momentum coming into that game as well. So that said, man, at least he was able to suit up and provide whatever he could provide them. I, I forgot his stat line. I really didn't even actually see his stat line yesterday. I'm going to go back and see what he contributed. But at the end of the day, I felt like the Lakers wasn't going to lose that game just because they the only team right now that's in the playoffs still that has not lost at home yet. So they've been protecting home court, man. And y'all already know home court is definitely a big advantage in the playoffs. So that said, man, they doing what they got to do to protect home court. So there's nothing to be talked about with that. It's going to be tough for teams coming into the crypto arena and expecting to win for real, for real. And uh, now let's continue on. Trey Young, y'all see what he say? He definitely was. He was just hooping like we always see him do, man. When he's feeling himself and doing the things that he got to do for his team to win, he just be out there hooping. Simple. Said Draymond for funny. Um, y'all, y'all look at how y'all look at Draymond. I feel like he's still one of the best players for the Warriors um, dynasty currently. He's definitely been a big piece into why they won the chips that they won. Um, if anybody says anything different, then they really don't know basketball and been paying attention for real. Y'all got to stop looking at the scoring and all of that because he does things that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. And he has always been looked at and has always been talked about as the leading player for their defense when they was winning chips as well. So... That said, he's been a big pivotal piece for them um, on the other end of the ball and not just um, pretty much focused on the offense all the time, et cetera, et cetera. But other than that, he definitely did his thing for that team to be where they is right now. But other than that, Eddie Johnson. Yeah, that, that tech was crazy. I don't know why the refs called that at all. I wouldn't have called that. Like I said, y'all coming down below how y'all feel, what the Warriors will do going forward with this um, yeah, core, and et cetera, et cetera. But other than that, now we got Kendrick Perkins back. Let's see what he said. But Jermichael Green never was supposed to be depended on, I feel like. Everybody known that, like, yeah, he had some games where he might be hitting the three, et cetera, et cetera. But... You, you're you not expecting him to do that on a consistent basis. I'm sorry, but that's just what it is. But pretty much from the outside looking in, I felt like Steve Kerr, either way, was going to have to do what he could, no matter what the Lakers, I said, like I said earlier, was going to win the game regardless. But, um, yeah, man, Steve Kerr, he could have tried anything he wanted to try last night. I just felt like the Lakers were going to win.
Yeah. You take it how you take it, but um, teams gonna do what they got to do at the end of the day when they see um, pretty much based off what they feel like is gonna be a successful play and not. So with that said, they gonna do based off of what's good for the team in that time period. They thought Festus, they thought. I don't know who you probably refer to. They probably refer to Schroeder on Curry, or I don't know. But a lot of these tweets is at different points of the game. So I can definitely tell some of these is either at the beginning of the game or towards the end of the game or in the middle, et cetera, et cetera. But um, last night, yeah, last night was definitely a game of runs. I agree with it, with the real white right said pretty much. Um, it was it definitely was. But Lakers either way never tra um, never trailed in the game, and they was always leading. But they definitely had runs between both teams, even though Golden State couldn't overcome the Lakers' lead. Period. Evan Turner, man, this man is crazy. Hold on, we gotta go back to that one a little too fast. Look like it's lagging again, but it says that AD is the best defensive player of the league when he's locked in, and it's not a single player that's on his level defensively carry the hell on um definitely agree with kendrick yeah, man ad yeah. been proving that y'all can see his defensive stats coming into this series and finishing this series he's still one of the best defensive players remaining in the playoffs uh, in, as in, in whole pretty much at the end of the day so pretty much definitely um one of the best defensive players when he's locked in for real yeah, like IT said, that game was a wrap, definitely. I'm pretty sure in the fourth quarter is when he said that. Game six, Clay definitely didn't show up last night. Um, I feel like that narrative is put to bed. Um, I just feel like Clay, with all the injuries in, given their age and where they are right now in their careers, I just feel like we not going to see that 20 that early 2010s, Clay, it's just, I don't think we're going to see that again. He's going to have his games where he is looking like that, but it's not going to be on a consistent basis no more. I just feel like that's just what it is, man. It's simple. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that and let me know. But other than that, let's continue. I even said it before the series was even played its first game. I said Lakers in six. Sure enough, finished Lakers in six. So it is what it is. Um, but other than that, let's continue. Skip with the hate, man. Skip ain't never like Curry, man. For real, for real. I feel like he's biased towards anybody that he just doesn't like on his list, for real. Like... You could say Brian did this. You could say Curry did that. At the end of the day, he's going to sometimes still find a way to pretty much say something negative about him. That's just the way Skip is, man. He's just biased. That's how I look at him, man. But now let's continue. Crazy, man. Miami and Lakers, man. Hey. Starting to really look like it's going to be a rematch. I ain't even going to lie. And then, if these teams, not only for the Lakers, but if both teams make it to the finals this year, this is definitely going to put that bubbles, that bubble BS to sleep for real. Nobody should be talking about the bubble ring or bubble finals no more after this for real. And that's... um even with just both teams, but if it Lakers, if anything, makes it. If Lakers make it to the finals, I feel like people need to just stop talking about the bubble ring, period. It is what it is. Lakers won. Y'all team did it. If your team won, I'm pretty sure y'all wouldn't be saying, oh, it was just a bubble ring, none of this, none of that, et cetera, et cetera. So that said, man, um, if the Lakers make the finals, I got them winning the finals. And... If they win the finals, yeah, the, the Bowling Green talk is definitely over, period. 
So, it is what it is. Look like we got some mold lagging. Skip Bayless, LeBron is about to to be 30 or more points for the first time in 19 playoff games dating back to the 2020 bubble. Hey man, y'all said y'all didn't want Brian going out there looking like he need to get 30 all the time, and he's been doing that, so he only does it when he needs to, and his team still been finding ways to win, so that's all that matters. LeBron has won eight of the last 10 postseason games against Steph, Clay, and Draymond without Kevin Durant. Tough. Y'all said Warriors was going to win this series by, by a huge favorite favorite margin but hey Taurus I think like what before the last game Warriors won I think game four or something like that is when a lot of people started changing their mind on who was gonna win this series and then now it changed to Lakers being the favorites in the series to win so that said man people ain't keeping the same energy that they had going coming into this series before a single game was played and that just goes to show you how good this Lakers team is, man. Pretty much every series they've been in this far has been them being the underdogs. They wasn't chosen as the favorites at all until after some games was played in these series. Tough. Steph and Clay and Draymond were 19 and old in the Western Conference playoffs until they played LeBron in the West. Yeah, and that's another crazy thing. Undefeated for for almost a whole decade of losing before the finals. They was undefeated. That's tough. And this year, Lakers have pretty much broken that record and became the first team to beat them outside of a final series in nine years. That's a huge, huge accomplishment for real, for real. But that also, like I said, even though I'm not a fan of the Warriors, that shows how great the Warriors is as well, though. 19 and 0 for nine years, almost a whole decade. That's not easy at all. And in the West. That goes to show you how good that whole core is put together not just Steph not just Clay not just Steph and Clay no but Draymond included I kind of missed that tweet hold on let's go back soon I agree with that they gonna retool but I don't feel like they gonna get back to being the finals favorites every year like they were for the past decade I feel like um I feel like they pretty much reached their peak. It's just more so going to come to down to the players outside of that court group. That's all it's going to come down to is who is going to be able to defend, who's going to be able to shoot outside of the court group and stuff like that, man. Pretty much the role players, man. They just got to put a solid um, group of role players around them. And I feel like they'll be solid, but I don't feel like they'll make it back to the finals if um, Lakers and other teams don't make improvements after this season. I feel like Warriors is going to have it tough pretty much for the rest of the core um, group that they got. So it's going to be tough for these next few years for them because now teams are starting to pretty much take advantage of getting better and stuff. Look at Lakers. They got better last year, um, pretty much this year through the trade deadline. Um, make it, made huge improvements to where they was lacking and stuff. Yeah, they still lacking with shooting, but at the end of the day, they did the things that they are supposed to be good at, and they made sure they improved on that and um, made sure their weaknesses ultimately couldn't be overcome by them. So that's it, man. They definitely did what they were supposed to do the right way. Um, teams taking notes possibly. So I feel like teams is definitely going to look at what the Lakers did and focus on what their weaknesses are and definitely bring in the players that's going to help them improve to do the things that they already do great and make better on that. And um, pretty much let that carry them forward and winning because at the end of the day, Lakers are winning without being a great perimeter shooting team. And they did that in 2020 as well. 
So that just goes to show you how great the Lakers really is when they're healthy and locked in for real. And we haven't seen a healthy Laker team like this since 2020. So that's why a lot of the comparisons is from this team to the 2020 Lakers team. Y'all see what's going on? Um, pretty much ain't saying nothing new. Pretty much saying what a lot of us is saying. Now the video is doing it again. So we got Colin Cohart said today LeBron would deliver tonight. Empty the tank. He boasts best playoff game yet. And man, has he tremendous night for a king. That's basically how he said it. But um, definitely ain't lying, man. Ron definitely went crazy this closeout game. And like George Carl said, you can't bet on him. You can't bet against him in the closeout game, for real. Lakers, Lakers win. Enough said. And here's Skip. He was riding with Lakers for the past two series, and now all of a sudden, just because, most likely, because Jokic's got the MVP, now he got Denver in seven. But everybody that really watches the game of basketball and knows the game of basketball, that's why I said, and knows the game of basketball, not just watch, because some of y'all eyes be lying to y'all, so y'all can't keep running around saying, trust my eye test, this and that, that's a stupid thing. Um, nobody believes in the eye test for real because at the end of the day, some people eyes lie to them. And we got people that would literally flat out say, oh, this team ain't going to do this because of this. That's why I got this team over them. But when that don't happen, now all of a sudden they running around making excuses for why it didn't happen and stuff like that. Or trying to make up conspiracy theories and stuff like that for why it didn't happen. Just to try to throw the winning team under the bus and not really get them credit and stuff. But other than that, man, um, yeah, that's all I got to say on skill. Lakers in six, though. And that's pretty much the end. Sorry about that. I am in the process of getting new equipment to make my videos, meaning I'm not going to be using this laptop for too much longer. I feel like it's got to do with my laptop is why YouTube sometimes have these big lagging um, breaks and videos and stuff like that. So I'm eventually getting something new, um, possibly an iPad or something like that to start doing my uh stream recording all that stuff off of because ultimately apple just got some of the best um wi-fi um, compatibility technology out there man it's just that simple man so can't wait to upgrade from this laptop um and use a uh, imac or an ipad pretty much but it's that's it's definitely gonna be an ipad pretty much but other than that though man that's the end of the video um, you guys honestly can go check out this video for yourself if you didn't um, like how I was reading some of the um, tweets just because of the video was lacking and, and freezing for a long period of time. But um, with that said, though, man, that's the end of the vid. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to the video or the video itself in general, make sure you guys smash that like button and comment on the video to help the video get recommended to a large audience of people. And also, don't forget to tell your family and friends. And also, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys can notify when I drop new videos. And also, don't forget to add and follow me on social media, man. All my social media platforms are listed down below in the description box as well throughout the video. You guys shouldn't have a hard time at all finding me on social media. With that said, though, man, that's the end of the vid. I'm going to catch you guys later on more. Peace. Yeah, yeah.